Hi everybody, welcome to Saturday Live at the Backyard Bird Center. Well, if you're a regular follower, you know that when I talk about hummingbirds, I always emphasize that the only hummingbird we have nesting pretty much east of the Rocky Mountains and definitely in Missouri is the ruby-throated hummingbird, the bird that uh, we see uh, at our feeders. They come back in April and they have them all summer and then that, you know the babies are starting to come. We, we have done many videos on the ruby-throated hummingbird. Well, I've also talked about the chances of seeing an uncommon hummingbird in the state of Missouri. The absolute best time to see uh, a, a stray hummingbird is late summer. And that's because that's post-nesting in places like Mexico and in, in the south, southern United States. And young birds disperse and they move different ways. Um, but our most dependable rare or uh, a hummingbird in the state of Missouri is the rufous hummingbird, the bird pictured here. And the best time to see rufous hummingbirds in the state of Missouri, especially the Kansas City area, is the first week of August. So that's the reason I'm doing the, the program today. And that is to have you on the lookout for a very different looking hummingbird at your feeder. And usually when they come in, whenever we see them moving through here, um, they only stay a day if you're lucky or two days at your feeders and they keep moving. So why do, why is the Rufus hummingbird the one that we had the best chance at seeing? Well, a few years ago, well, it's been several years ago now, um, we discovered that in the southern United States, especially the southeast coast, and Florida and Georgia, coastal Florida, Georgia, and, and even up to the Carolinas, there were many re reported sightings of wintering rufous hummingbirds. And so they, they studied it, and sure enough, uh, the bulk of the Rufus hummingbirds that nest in the Rocky Mountains are high elevation birds. Uh, about 95 to 99 percent of those hummingbirds move straight down the Rocky Mountains into Mexico for the winter. But we discovered that there is a small population that crosses the United States from the Rocky Mountains down to coastal uh, eastern North Eastern Carolina, eastern Florida, eastern uh, uh, Georgia. And if you draw a straight line kind of through, you know, where they nest to where they winter, Kansas City and Missouri is right in that path of those coming through there. Well, and like most birds, when they migrate, the adult males move first. And so early August is when these rufous hummingbirds start their migration, especially the males. This picture was taken at a, a customer's feeder over in Liberty a few years back, and she captured a couple of nice pictures of them. There's a nice picture of that. David Allen Sibley, the great uh, field guide author, says the, the rufous hummingbird is the color of a freshly coined penny. And that is truly a good description of these adult birds. Beautiful, bright, orange uh, throat on it. Whereas our ruby-throated hummingbird shows that red throat. And it's very green on its back and on its belly. That is quite a bit different than that. So when people see different hummingbirds this time of year, Remember, there's a lot of individual variation among uh, hummingbirds. The females have the uh, uh, ruby throats have a white throat instead of that uh, red throat that the males do, and the young birds are more modeled on their back. We've talked about that, and you see that in other videos. But the rufous hummingbird really jumps out at you, and also the ruby the, the rufous hummingbird is a really aggressive hummingbird whenever they're in they are usually chasing away you know everything that you're now i know adult hummingbirds do that anyways but rufus and hummingbirds in particular are very very aggressive and while most of them do stay for very short periods of time this amazing bird was was taken uh down a picture was taken down in liberty like 11 years ago now this little rufous hummingbird showed up at a, hum a feeder there and stayed until Thanksgiving Day. Now, it was very cold that fall too, but remember, these are high mountain nesters, so they're used to very cold temperatures at night. So they're hardy birds, and so this bird stuck around and was continuing to feed all the way through Thanksgiving. So it can happen. Now note that the throat here, because the, the light's not catching it right, that iridescent bright orange is not showing, but believe me, this bird had it. It's just the angle right there is not reflecting that light for it. So 
we have our ruby throats be on the lookout for rufous hummingbirds if you do see them try to get a quick picture with your camera uh, your phone it works just fine and get it so we can document it we always want to document these birds when they come through i know a couple of years ago we had one up in st joe it's every couple of years i do get really reliable pictures in or phone calls with really good descriptions of these orange hummingbirds at people's feeders so um, be on the lookout for them now they can show up later but early August is when your, your chances of seeing the males are the best and the females are very hard to tell apart. They don't look nearly as bright as the, as the males do. So the, your best chance is, is, like I said, now from now through the next couple of weeks, be on the lookout for these rare hummingbirds here. So And do let us know. So quick topic, good one for the day. It's uh, the time of year. It, it, it is right for them right now. So keep those hummingbird feeders fresh. Remember, four to one refill it every couple days because it has been really really hot and every other day every day if you want to right now because the temperatures are up your activity should be really increasing all the way through the month of august and by late september most of them will be gone so you're you're going to enjoy the next month the next six weeks a lot with your hummingbird feeder so thanks for tuning in give the program a like if you would a share if you would do that if you're on youtube please uh subscribe and until then we'll come out and talk let's let's talk birds